Hi everyone, Reno Nadiandi here and today I will share you how to create a photo frame from a splatter element or from a splash element. Okay, first uh, go uh, create design and then I will choose Instagram post portrait. And then I will pick a splatter element just uh, type splatter okay this one and choose the graphic and uh, i suggest you not to pick the splatter like this or like this there is too many dot there too many splatter and uh, just i will pick you uh, you can choose this one but i will pick this one yeah. you can also choose this one okay now I will use uh, this one okay and then uh, go to element again and add a shape make it uh, just make the corner rounding zero and then change the color to yellow Okay, and then place it here. Okay, duplicate. And place it here. Alright, and then send the splatter to front. Okay, let's uh, see this. Ah. So the splatter must be uh, in the middle or you can see there is a yellow a color between the splatter and the white uh, page color. And then change the splatter to white to the same color as uh, the page color and then download it. Uh, so I, I also told you, I also want to tell you that uh the size of the splatter just keep like this okay don't uh, resize it don't make it bigger okay because uh, it's help to make it more easy to be erased by the uh, bg remover okay because bg remover usually erase the majority color in an image now download it SPNG and then add page change the color to black all right and then add the PNG here to the page two okay now go to edit image and then just BG remover okay and then tap apply and then make it bigger to be filled with a photo now add your photo you can upload it but i will choose this photograph okay send it uh, to back Okay, and then I will resize it. I will reduce the size. Reduce again. Okay, I think it's uh, enough. All right. okay and then just change the color uh, the color the page color to yellow the same color as the frame and then add the yellow shape to cover uh, this uh, part okay and then 
duplicate place here duplicate again place here okay and then download it as png page 2 and then add a new page in white and then upload it to page 3 edit image and then bg remover okay let's uh, check let's check it out if there is any yellow remain if uh, any yellow color remain you just uh, choose the use this erase button and then erase the yellow color manually okay and then tap apply wait until it become a check mark okay it's done and then uh, increase the size because now uh, the splatter photo effect is done okay now you can uh, add uh, I will duplicate it you can change the background maybe white wood background just find the maybe like that or maybe uh, wall background maybe you can choose uh, maybe this one okay i think it's uh better or uh, i will duplicate again maybe you can add a shadow here go to shadow and then choose drop like that okay and then you can change the the background to maybe brick I think uh, what about this one uh, I think this one is not too good just uh, I what I mean not too good is the shadow and then can make it uh, here in a brick here and then you can add a, a broken wall maybe let's see what's a I right, this one I think it's uh, not too good. I don't like it. Okay, uh, maybe this one. Okay, now you can make uh, some. Uh, this one is not good. I want to delete it. Okay, just uh, choose your favorite background. Okay, for this platter. Uh, photo frame and okay this is the tutorial and hope it helps you and add value to your design and see you next tutorial have fun with canva